Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create headers and footers in a workbook before printing it, open the Page Setup dialog box by clicking the Page Setup dialog box button in the lower right corner of the Page Setup button group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon. Then click the Header Footer tab within the dialog box. The current worksheet's header and footer appear on the Header and Footer tab. To apply preset header or footer information, use the Header and or Footer drop-downs on this tab to select a set of data to show. Alternatively, to create a custom header or footer into which you can type your own data, click either the Custom Header or Custom Footer buttons to open either a Header or Footer dialog box. If creating a custom header or custom footer, then in either the Header or Footer dialog box, click into either the Left Section, Center Section, or Right Section fields. Then type the header or footer information you want to show into these spaces. In addition, Excel also gives you buttons that let you add preset fields of information into those sections of your custom headers and footers. The buttons are Format Text, Insert Page Number, Insert Number of Pages, Insert Date, Insert Time, Insert File Path, Insert File Name, Insert Sheet Name, Insert Picture, and Format Picture. Click any of these buttons to insert that type of information into the currently selected area in your custom header or footer. You can also select text that you have typed into your custom header or footer, and then click the Format Text button to modify its font and or font size. Then make any changes to the font you want within the font dialog box that appears and click the OK button to finish. You can also insert pictures into the header and or footer sections by clicking the Insert Picture button and then using the Insert Picture window that appears to select the image to insert. You can then click the Format Picture button to edit the properties of the selected image within the tabs of the Format Picture dialog box that appears. Then click the OK button when finished. After setting the appearance of your custom header or custom footer in either the header or footer dialog boxes, Click the OK button within it to return to the Page Setup dialog box. Also notice that there are four checkboxes at the bottom of the Header Footer tab. Different Odd and Even Pages, Different First Page, Scale with Document, and Align with Page Margins. To print different header or footer information for odd and even workbook pages, the first page, or both, check either or both the Different Odd and Even Pages, and or the different first page checkboxes as needed. Then click either the custom header or custom footer button to open the header or footer dialog box. Two or three tabs then appear depending on your checkbox selections for each unique header or footer that you must then create within your workbook. Click the tab of the custom header or footer to modify before adding the desired header or footer content. Then create the content the same way as you created a single custom header or footer. Once again, when finished, click the OK button to return to the Header Footer tab in the Page Setup dialog box. The last two checkboxes on this tab let you scale the headers and footers along with the worksheet content if needed, and align the headers and footers with the page margins specified in the Margins tab. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.